One of the big questions I've been asking in my work, 40 years of work on school reform and equity and social justice issues is, particularly looking at the last 15 years of school reform, and it's a big question I ask educators all over the country is, why didn't it work? You know, no child left behind, great vision. I mean, we're doing good things. Good things have happened, some gaps have closed, but in many ways we're kind of flatlined on a lot of issues around social justice. And I think with school change, one of the reasons that I could say that, that we haven't done the work at a deep enough level is we haven't talked to our customer, which is students. We haven't talked to the kids. We haven't brought them in. And uh, the YES process, youth equity stewardship process that Benji and Wade uh, have been using around the country and developing over the years and uh, original form of it also had my son-in-law, Makeda Wilborn, involved. So it's a long year, a 10-year developmental process. And it's now surfacing to me as the missing piece and it's not just about youth voice. It's not just inviting kids' voice, because often we have panels and kids talk to adults and the adults listen. But this is empowering kids with skills where they become active participants in school change. So they become, and that's a whole stewardship idea. They, be, they take ownership in their own environment, uh, their own uh, climate of their school, and they become passionate about wanting to change those things where oppression's showing up, where kids are being hurt, where insensitive comments, where where teachers are skipping over things, things that happen in their classrooms and they're too uncomfortable or not courageous enough to really speak to those issues. And the kids are saying, wow, we, want, we, don't, want to, we don't want to have that silence there anymore. So I think the school reform issue and student engagement and student activism, not just student voice, is a key.